Hi everyone and welcome to Application Delivery How-To Video Series. In today's video, we'll take a look at how to install Kubernetes ingress and load balancing using AVI Kubernetes Operator or AKO. The Kubernetes solution comprises of four major components. The first is the AVI controller, which is the brains of the product. Second is the service engine, which sits in the data path and does the client traffic load balancing. The third is AKO or AVI Kubernetes Operator. Uh, which is a stateless pod which runs in the cluster and it translates the Kubernetes APIs to corresponding AVI APIs and configures the virtual services on AVI. AVI controller in turn manages the WIPs for these virtual services on the service engine. The fourth and the final component of this solution is AVI multi-cluster Kubernetes operator, which syncs the services across multiple clusters and configures GSLB service for global server load balancing. In today's video, we'll only be taking a look at AKO and the local load balancing and ingress that it provides. With that, let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. So for the demo, I have a AV controller and a cluster Kubernetes cluster already deployed on vCenter. As a part of uh, the day zero operation on the AV controller, we configured the infrastructure cloud. Since our cluster is on vCenter, I have configured a vCenter cloud out here. And I have configured it with required IP address management and DNS services. So uh, from our point of view, the day zero configuration is done. Uh, let's go ahead and install AKO on our cluster and uh, see it in action. Let's pull AKO, get the uh, AKO repository added first. So with that command, uh, the AKO repository get, gets added to our local setup. So if you do Helm search repo, it will show you the current AKO versions that are available. So we'll be today, uh, like I said, we'll be installing AKO uh, 1.4.2. Installing is uh, Helm install command. So with, with this command, uh, the Helm automatically installs the AKO pod as well as all required CRDs and other Kubernetes manifests. And AKO is up and running. Let's deploy some application and see how uh, virtual services get uh, created on AVI. So as you see right now, we only have a DNS virtual service running out here, which will manage the DNS, but we don't have any applications. Let's create an application on this cluster now. With that, what I did was I created a deployment, which deploys the application pods, and I'm exposing it in two ways. First, as a load balancer type service, which does L4 load balancing. And the second one is with a secret, I am exposing it as a TLS terminated ingress. And if you take a look at AVI, uh, AKO has automatically configured uh, the corresponding virtual services on AVI and your setup is up and running. The only reason this is red is because this is the first virtual services that were configured. So it takes some time for the service engines to get deployed. And if you take a look at the vCenter, you see that the service engines are getting deployed. And once they power up, they will connect back to the AVI controller and uh, the virtual services should go green. As you saw, as soon as the service engine is up and running and connected back to the controller, uh, the controller places the VIPs on the service engine and you're ready to use the app. Let's take a look at the ingress service. So we can directly browse to the ingress host name or FQDN. And as you saw, it automatically redirected us from HTTP to HTTPS and uh, your app is accessible from the host FQDN itself. So the way this works is whenever a application developer creates an ingress or service, AKO gets notified and it configures those services uh, and it configures and it configures corresponding virtual services on the AVI controller. And AVI controller fetches an IP address from the IPAM and publishes the FQD into the DNS and places the web on the service engines. After this, whenever the client makes a DNS query, the AVI DNS replies with the correct A record of the top of the web and the client browses to the web IP address, which is placed on the SE and the SE load balances the traffic directly to the application ports. I hope this was helpful for you. Do check out other videos in this video series. Thank you.